Alrighty, how's it going guys? Um, so in this video I'll be showing you how to animate uh, your face, um, so giving your facial expressions, um, and then knowing this will basically enable you to add custom dances and, and whatnot to your yeah, avatar as well. Um, and on top of that I will also show you how to just quickly use the Mantis Slot Editor as well. Um, uh, because I think I went through it a bit fast in my first video. Uh, okay, so basically I already have set my avatar up. Um, so <coughs> if you don't already, make sure you have your VRC avatar descriptor. Um, uh, and in the animator, make sure you have your avatar controller template. Um, and uh, right now, uh, my uh, lip syncing. Uh, area is empty and that's because I have not decimated this model yet. So really quick before we start animating our face uh, we want to go click on our body and then we want to go to window mantis slot editor component editor mantis slot editor and then we want to click the more details button and then upload mesh data and depending on your internet speed um, it'll it shouldn't take that long regardless of your internet speed, but <coughs> okay, so um okay. Well the mesh was above twenty thousand. It's done something weird. Um I'm just gonna save current mesh then and I'll save it as test. Um Okay, we can remove the Mantis Lot Editor component now. Usually, there's a uh, if it's over, you would want to change the quality slider um, down until the vertices uh, are within VRChat's limits. Yeah, so we'll just add that there. Okay, I think what happened is because I've already done this model before, Mantis Lot Editor has uh, saved uh, what I what I did. Um, okay, so now to get started with animating, what we want to do is duplicate. Uh, our avatar, so we want to disable it, and then Control C and Control V, and then we want to enable the duplicate that we just made, and then we want to get our animations uh, tab in. So if you don't have that, it'll be in Window and then Animations, or if you want a shortcut, it's Control Six. Um, now what we want to do is currently our animation is displaying everything in our avatar controller template which we don't want to do because we can't actually edit or add any new animations to this. So we want to go to our controller in the animator and then we want to set it to none. Now we want to click the create button in the animation tab and I'm going to, I don't know what, I don't know what, what facial expression I'm going to make. I'll, yeah, I'll set it to one. Um, okay, so now uh, we want to add a property. We want to get a body. We get a skinned mesh renderer, and then these are all the shape keys that your model will have. Um, so I might go give a starry eye, and then I'll set that to one hundred. And this is why we make a duplicate, because her offset will change, and if it changes on the original model, it's very hard to get back to a default position. Okay, so we'll change it to 100. You'll see that she now has stars in her eyes. And now what we want to do is delete this keyframe that's been automatically given to us, and it's at the one second mark. We want to delete that. Uh, I might add some more properties to this facial expression. Uh, maybe a bit of a bit of a surprised look, so I'll go to the surprised blend shape, add it with that plus sign, and just slide it up until I like what I see, maybe about there. And now I might make a tongue stick out, so skin mesh renderer. And where is it? Uh, I think it's licking. Press a plus icon, drag it out. And there it is. Um, okay, so now what you want to do is Control C, uh, the first keyframe you've made, and then paste it into the next uh, the next point, um, which will be zero point 
uh, zero one, I believe. Um, now we want to press this record button to stop uh, to stop editing the animation. I'm just going to drag my animation tab back up the top, and now we want to disable our animation copy and enable our original. And then we want to go into our VRC SDK examples, sample assets, animation, and then there will be a custom override empty. We want to control D to duplicate it, and I'm going to drag our duplicate into where my models, textures, um, and the file itself is contained. Um, now if we click on the custom override, you'll see it has a whole bunch of animation uh, settings on it. So, uh, emit 1, 2, 3, 4, basically these are all like your dances, your death, your clapping uh, animations that VRChat gives you by default. So if you want to add a dancing animation to uh, your character, it's probably always going to, you probably always want to put it onto one of these emote uh, things here. Now for your hand gestures, that would be the finger point, fist, hand gun, hand open, um, uh, rock and roll. Uh, so, <coughs> for this facial expression that I've just made, I'm going to drag it onto finger point. Now if we click on our model, and where it says custom standing anim and custom sitting anim, we want to drag our custom override uh, into that. Um, and now that we've done that, we can go ahead and just add our uh, Vizmi uh, shapes for uh, for lip syncing. Uh, okay, uh, hopefully you guys have learned something from this video. Um, th it's basically done. I just need to fill out the lip syncing, upload it, and I should have my uh, uh, my facial expressions. Um, okay, I will see you guys in the next video.